All right. Well, the thing is, I am going to change my webcam. I'm going to be using this camera. It's just not charged. So you won't see the background as much. You'll see my face up closer. Uh, but today, we'll be reacting to Detroit Become Human character swapping mod compilation. Cursed and hilarious. Now, I've played Detroit Become Human. So has my girlfriend. She's trying to platinum it. And she sent me this. So I'm like, why not react to it? Shout out to Jack Mills for making this. I'll leave a link to the original video. Let's go ahead and watch it. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Who's Alice! Alice? Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get okay. Started down here, then you do upstairs. No. Move out. That was creepy. Okay, so Go shoot her on site. You don't know, won't spoil it as much, but that is the newer version of Connor. Negotiator on site. I, I, I can't leave her! Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl! Wait, you're sending an android? Alright, ma'am, you, you need to go. You can't do that! You. Why aren't you sending a real person? That ain't Marcus. Who is that? That's Kara. Never mind who it was. What the hell is that? What's that? It's Connor! He's flying. Are they the birds? No, no. <laughs> Guys, we got a new Pokemon. Connor the bird. Jesus. They're making out. He's in love with himself. My God. Stop showing it. All right. I forgot what his name was. All right. End the line. North and then. End of the line. Go back. But two minutes in, we're not gonna finish the whole video and this video. Black. Kara is going through the freaking window of the bus. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Wake up. Wake up. We have to go. Looks like she's touching a ghost. Hey! Don't touch her there! That is her no-no square! Whenever Hank is in a clip, it makes me laugh. And if you didn't know, 
Hank actually voiced Mr. Krabs. I don't know where his real name. I think it's like Tom Clancy or something like that. But he voices Mr. Krabs from the SpongeBob, which is actually pretty cool. Come on in. Don't be shy. No. Connor's neck is a stretchy anxiety toy. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another animal. Big? Half of his face is cut off. Droid that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Who's in the bed? Oh. Good morning, Carl. What is she looking at? Good morning. What is that? Someone is sleeping in the bed. Literally in the bed. It's 10 a.m. You're looking at the pigeons. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. The machines are observing us. No. Come on. They're waiting in the darkness for the right moment There's to take honor. our place. For it is written, let us lie in wait for blood. Let us ambush the innocent without cause. God will not let this happen. No. He will not allow his creation to be led astray by these, these artificial demons. Why do you look at me so, demon? I know who you are. It's yourself. You, you're talking to yourself, my man. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Okay, right off the bat, I know that there's supposed to be a murder victim right there, but it's funny seeing Alice T-pose like that, like a Gary's Mod NPC frozen, but God. your fucking problem not the life you dreamed of eh maybe you think this is easy maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole I'm definitely going to be doing a part two. I don't care what you guys say. I'm doing a part two to this. That's a lot of twos. We're going to probably finish the whole video in different sections and different parts on my channel. I'll make a whole playlist out of this. My God. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. 28 stab wounds. 28 stab wounds. Connor, why'd you do it? Didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please. please. <laughs> I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Oh, please, please stop. Just say Why? I killed him 
Is it that hard to say? Stop it! Stop! It's pressure again. <laughs> Just say you killed him! Just say it! His handcuffs came undone. How strong he is. Okay. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Okay. Her neck is stretching. Her neck. It's a flex toy! Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. Look at it! No, not Hank. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? Now she's shrinking. She can grow a neck like a giraffe, and she can shrink like a mouse. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. <laughs> I'm sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. <laughs> As if Cyberlife thought everything, huh? No. No. Potter birds. They flew off. They flew. One more. I'm doing one more. on site. After this one. I'm doing one more. Site. I wish I did not say that. It's a Potter fish. I just saw his hand sticking out of the... I saw his hand sticking out of the ground. Look at that. Majestic. His cheeks. You gotta save my little girl. Wait, you're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending wish, a real person? I wish I had a Connor counter. Let's see how many Connors were in this video. And you want to find a safe place, somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. Hey. Hey, what is this? Hi. Uh, I'm... Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see. I'm Coroner number 157. See, uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. 
Okay. His hand is through the door. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. That's his name. I don't even know how to pronounce it, though. Okay, now. I want to know is there more Connors in this, like. Nice girl. <laughs> You're right. She's really pretty. Back with the stretchy neck. You both not. That's Marcus. We should rename that to the Connor Club. Connor, what the fuck are you doing? Connor, coming, Lieutenant. I'm just looking at myself. Pole dancing, Connor. You're not going to take my license, are you? I mean, I, I had nothing to do with this. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben, how's it going? It's that room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole, just what I needed. What's on his face? It was like, oh, how old? Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. It's some pervert who uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Okay. I repeat, man down. Requesting immediate. This will be the last one. Stay back! Don't come any closer! Or what? You don't hold a gun like that. I'll jump! No, no, please, I'm begging you! Go, go, go! It's too late for that now! It's too late! He's losing blood! If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. Will all humans die eventually. Why holding a gun up to his bum? Okay, this is the weirdest on the jam. Julie, what does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. You can't kill me. I'm not alive. It's not up to you! I'm holding all the cards! If I die, she dies! You hear me? Alright, 
I'm going to save the rest of this for another video. Crap. I just screwed it up. Um, I'll save this for the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if my girlfriend will enjoy it or not, but we'll see once she watches it. I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> see ya.